Hi, this is Bruce Bishop from the Chronicle Telegram. We're here today with Christine Robinson from the Lorraine County Alcohol and Drug Addiction Services Board and Sharon Wyckoff, a parish nurse for Mercy Health. How are you doing today? Wonderful. Thank you for having Thank us. Thank you. Good. All right, let's talk about a couple things here. We have like three or four questions to get through today, and the first one is going to be exactly who is the Addis Board? The Alcohol and Drug Addiction Services Board of Lorain County is the governmental subdivision that's charged with planning and funding services for prevention, treatment, and recovery support for substance abuse in Lorain County. Okay, and then, Christine, we'll start with you. If you can tell us, what do you do with the board? What do you do with uh, Absolutely. first response? I'm Director of Program Services at the board. Um, uh, the Addis Board is charged with being the fiscal agent for Lorain County's first response grant, which is an opportunity to work with the vital partners in the community to really focus on prevention of opiate overdose deaths and reducing the amount of opiate overdose deaths in the community. And today I have Sharon Wyckoff with us from Mercy Health Parish Nursing, and she's going to talk a little bit about some of those prevention strategies, including lock bags that we have for medication. Thanks for having me. Um, Parish Nursing in in Lorain County, we have about 100 churches that we're trying to facilitate wellness through, and part of our programming recently is the opioid crisis. We are all about prevention, and the lock boxes are very key in the prevention piece and education, education to our churches, um, the community at large about what can be done to prevent those medications, whether they're legal substances, um, to be locked up and taken care of so they're out of the hands of children, our grandkids, our pets, whatever the case may be. And then uh, for you, Christine, what are some of the strategies that people can use? What are some of the keys to prevention? One of the keys is knowledge. Um, and it's doing what a person can do, and everybody has a role in this epidemic. Simply locking up your medications uh, so that they're out of the hands of people who may abuse them is essential. Um, unfortunately, the medicine cabinet often winds up being the first drug dealer a youth encounters, uh, and we can do very simple things to lock up medications. Uh, a gentleman that I met not too long ago uh, who has diabetes was telling me that he has to carry syringes around with him and was concerned about those being diverted towards use and was extremely excited to be able to access one of these MedSafe bags uh, to lock those up so that people wouldn't get a hold of it and so he'd have safe access to his medication needs. Can you show it? I see you have a couple here. What are, what's the difference between them? And just tell us a little bit about the bags. Sure. Um, the difference is size, and this is a smaller one. These are uh, safe bags. They can't be cut open. They have This one has a key lock. This larger version has a combination lock, and the medications can just be stored safely in there and hidden in a place where, where people can't get them but are still very accessible to the person who needs the medications. Very good. Okay, now I'm going to kind of put you on the spot here, and everybody loves when we do this. How about a success story? You know, you hear so much about how bad things are. Can you just think of a success story that you might like to share with us? Sure, absolutely. Um, not too long ago in April, we, um, as part of this first response grant, we showed our appreciation for all the amazing work that our first responders are doing in the community. They have saved so many lives. Uh, in this epidemic. Uh, at the appreciation ceremony, uh, a gentleman spoke here at Elyria City Hall, and he had been revived over 20 times with naloxone. And today he was over a year sober, seeking employment, speaking in front of people, sharing his gratitude for being able to have the opportunity to be alive, be sober, and to con contribute to his community. Um, People don't necessarily share from the rooftops how well they're doing. We hear all the negative stories, and it's very important. It's a very important question you ask me because there are people who are recovering every single day. Very good. And then let's ask you, Sharon, do you have the same question? Is there a story you'd like to share? Well, working with our churches, and it's so important to have the Addis Board in Lorain County. It's so important. They are doing important work. And we love partnering with them because they're the professionals. We can call on them anytime, and they will come uh, to our events. And it's wonderful to be able to network with such great gals. 
um, I have to brag on First UMC in Wellington, one of our star churches that is doing such great work trying to get the community involved in southern Lorain County and, and just doing it so well to address this opioid crisis. So we're very proud of them and the work that we're able to do together. Which, which brings me to, you know, what is the role of a parish nurse? I mean, it sounds like you're working with a lot of different agencies. We work with a lot of different uh, volunteers within our churches, over 100 churches in Lorain County, and it's um, the role is they're all worried about their own churches, their own parishioners and the community in which they serve. And it's great to have them be able to have the tools that they need to address their crisis issues in their churches. That sounds great. Okay, let's hold those bags up one more time. And if someone wants to get a hold of one of these things, how do they go about doing that? They can simply call us at the Addis Board and let us know that they need one. And if they're a resident of Lorain County, we have a limited amount um, to be able to distribute to folks who need them. We'll just ask them just a couple questions so that we can just track how people are utilizing these. And they'll walk away with protection for their medications. Great. Free. 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 Free is good. <laughs> okay, Christine, Sharon, thank you so much for sharing this information with us today, and we appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you.